Hi everyone, Dr. Ty and Wendy from Momentum Chiropractic here. This is gonna be an addition to your home care. Um, again, for our patients that are doing corrective spinal care to make sure that the spine has the good forward curve in it in the neck and the low back, 45 degrees, strength, stability. Um, that's what it's about for longevity. Okay, so why are we gonna do these fulcrum exercises and what are they? Number one, as we went through in home care part one, look that up on the videos, home care part two on the videos, this is what you do at night right before you go to bed. You're gonna lay on these for 20 minutes. So the nice thing is we've, we've given quite a bit of things. There's a lot of responsibility at home for us to be healthy. So the nice thing is these exercises don't cost you any more time. That's what's great. Uh, you're gonna do it the first part of your 20 minutes of just laying on the blocks, okay? So same thing. It's up to you on what you can handle for these exercises. If you can handle laying on the beginner block only, then do that. If you can handle laying on Bubba, then do that. I'm okay either way. By, by this time, you should be on Bubba. But again, if it's a little too much, I'm okay with that. Just use this, okay? Because we're not gonna do a whole lot of exercises on this low back, mostly for the neck, okay? So we'll just toss this aside for now. And so Wendy's gonna get in the position that you normally get. This part goes bottom of the ribs, or bottom of the rib cage. That's where it's gonna go on the back. This uh, neck block a little bit further down. So it's touching those shoulders. So good. Her head is right here and nice and flat with the ceiling. So parallel with the ceiling is what we're looking for. And so we're gonna do basically four exercises with this in this position, starting. Knees bent up high enough. Okay, this isn't really the pillow under the knees part. This is high enough to where you can push on your thighs, okay? And you can push down here. And the whole purpose of this right here is to release the shoulders so we're not trying to pinch because it's really easy when we're using our neck muscles um, that unfortunately a big part of the problem that a lot of people have is they use accessory muscles for for strength and we don't want that we want pure muscle contractions so if we can take the shoulder out then we're not going to do these exercises like this as much we're going to actually use the neck muscles that's the intended use okay so when she presses down before each of her exercises that disengages the shoulders, and now she's getting the pure muscles from the neck, okay? So that's a real key spot here. Press down before all of these exercises. So here's her position. Exercise number one, really easy. All she's gonna do is try and pinch the block to her shoulders, just tipping her head back, okay? So it's gonna be pressed down, it's gonna tip her head back, and just pinch that block, okay? And then you're gonna hold that for five seconds, and do it five times. If you feel real good with it, if it's going well for you, as you progress, you can go to 10 repetitions or even 10 seconds if you want, but I'm okay with five reps, five seconds, okay? So she's gonna do that five times, give it a good squeeze, pressing down her legs, so disengage the shoulders, okay? The second exercise is going to be, now we're gonna try and pinch straight to the side, okay? So she's going to basically press down, head goes to the side and pinches to activate these lateral muscles here more, okay? Five seconds, you can do all five on one side, do five on the other side and be done, five, uh, five reps for five seconds. Um, you can do alternating, I'm okay either way, it doesn't matter, no benefit either way, just more of your comfort zone, okay? The biggest thing is press down, five second hold, relax for a little bit, five second hold, relax for a little bit, or one side, one side, one side, five times, the other side five times, okay? That's exercise number two. The third exercise is gonna be a little bit, a little bit different. You're gonna turn your head 45 degrees and then pinch back, okay? So now she's activating just another set of muscles that are gonna help strengthen, and actually this will help your head weights work even better, okay? so. Turn, pinch, pushing, boom. She's doing a great job there. Five times, five seconds, okay? On that one side, and then she's gonna spin and do it the other side, okay? Pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty standard. So just keep an eye on what that looks like. It's, it's straight back, it's here and here, and then it's here and here, okay? So those are the first three. 
The last one is going to be, it's a little more challenging, it's a little different, but it's one of the most critical. So do not skip this one. This is going to be a five second hold and we're going to do it 10 times, working our way up to 10 seconds, 10 times. Okay. The position that she's going to put her hands, this is going to be a forward push. I don't want to say flexion because this is flexion. We don't want you flexing your head. We want you pushing your head straight out. Okay. So your contacts are going to be palms. Okay. On your cheekbones. Comfortable. My, uh, for me, then this part of my hand goes on my eyebrows. Okay. So I do this and it's going to be a straight isometric push. Isometric means we're exercising without moving anything. Okay. It's just a static strength um, and conditioning exercise. So she's going to push straight up off of this block, hold it for five seconds and then relax it down. Okay. And you want to see these muscles. You want to feel those muscles in her neck. You see those, I can play a banjo right here. Ding, 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 ding. Um, so they're so tight because uh, she's really getting, get into it. Uh, because the more strength we have in those, that's what's actually going to help those head weights uh, have a force to react against and get that better curve in there. So again, one more thing to add to to help with all the rest of the home care, which then helps the adjustments do their job best, which then helps that spine to be in the best place ever and have a, an awesome, wonderful life of health and longevity. Um, and that's what it's all about, you guys. So just to recap real quick, it's for the first three exercises, it's five reps five second hold both sides um, and then straight back for the once there um, and then the the pressing into the face or into the hands um, five seconds ten times working your way up to ten seconds ten times pressing down on the first three exercises on those uh, thighs to disengage the shoulders and then on the last one we're pressing on our face okay so there you have it. Um, again, that is fulcrum exercise video. So when you prescribe this, this is what you'll need to do. And again, check out all those other videos though, because you're going to do this on the first part of your laying on the rolls for 20 minutes. So it doesn't cost you any more time. Um, and it is after the wobble disc, the neck traction exercise so that the spine is really nice and warm. If you lay on these without warming up your spine, it's going to let you know, and we don't want that. So any questions, make sure you're uh, asking us at the office, call us at the office. Um, but we're here to serve you and just change your world and change the, the life of everyone around you for better health and better functionality. Okay. So this is Dr. Ty and Wendy signing off. Be blessed and be a blessing.